What's up, it's your boy J. So. And it's your girl Sammy Social. Back at it again with Let's Talk, Talk About, about it. it. Lovely. So, for this episode of Let's Talk About It, it is our season finale. Because the year is almost up in like two days. It's crazy. 2018 has been crazy yeah. for us, like as a whole. Yeah. Starting. What do you want to start? Do you want to start with a recap or just jump right into the first topic? I say just jump right into upcoming artists and we'll go. All right. There. So we're gonna do let's talk. Let's talk about a little different this shit today. <laughs> um, we're gonna talk about the hottest upcoming artists that we either promoted or we've seen out there that's been grinding and working towards their dreams, like. The rest of us are here in America. You know. America. <laughs> are they not working on their dreams in other countries? I mean, possibly, but... Not like we do it. Not like in the middle does it. And you people watching. Period. Period. All right, so the first person on our list is Ray Promo. Now, if you don't know who Ray Promo is, she is a rap artist, a female rap artist from Los Angeles, South Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And she came right out the gate banging. Me a bitch that be acting all hard, old oh, joker ass bitch. Try to start pulling cards when a beat me so bad. The homies even pick. When I tell you, for a few years, right? No, she hasn't. Mm -mm. She she acts like she's been in the game for a few years. Yeah. Like her music is really. She good. she was doing like promotions for like other people, like you know you know the, the typical like promotion, you know, whatever. And but now she got this rap thing going, and she's popping. I couldn't be more proud of her. I've when I I met her. Cause she's like a family friend, but mm -hmm. yeah, just seeing her grow and develop as an artist has been amazing, and I'm super proud of her and all the things she's accomplished this year alone, performing at uh, festivals and just dropping videos and just freestyle raps and she, girl got skills and sure. y'all gotta be on the lookout for her. Period. 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 I'm yeah, if you go back down our page, she was taking over our Freestyle Fridays because every week it was like it was back right. to back to back to back to back, yeah, like to killing it, bro. And I'm yeah. so proud of you. Uh, well, direct message to you. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see what you do in 2019. It's gonna be a good year. Yeah, get the money. Yes. The next one is Natasia. Yes. Natasia. Sorry yeah. if we get your name wrong. Nat Natasia, yeah. it's spelled like Natasia. Yes. Uh, we met her at Justice Justice, Justice Allah's opening party, or what is it? A uh, music EP party. EP party. When EP we race. first, that was literally our very first event out together as in the middle. And yeah, she was dope. She opened up for him before he came out. And she was very, very talented. And we've kind of just like kept in contact with her business wise. And she, does she have a whole album? Or was it just she a few songs? She did put out an album, which is oh, really album. good. Okay. It is, it's called Good Vibes Only. Good vibes only. It and this is definitely a full like bomb vibe type album. I think my favorite song in there is Fun. We just wanna have fun, fun. Don't fun. we, we all girl? Fun, we all wanna fun. have fun. I just wanna have fun. The twenties and the fifties and the hundreds are the ones that worry about a thing. Focus on the income, get money, pay. Be on the lookout for her, Natasia. Yes, definitely. And then my personal favorite right now, you can talk about it. I think he's done. Thomas Da Vinci. Yes, his album Bro. is dope. And he's just like a really cool person overall. Yeah. Good vibes, chill vibes. We met him through other networking things we've been to this year. And mm -hmm. he he put out a whole album and it was surefire. Like, you know, some people would be like, mm, the mixer and the master and the, maybe the producer wasn't great or the... The way you said that was so pretty, like, the producer. I mean, or, like, you know, the, ain't that right? The yeah, person yeah. That put, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, but he, he did his thing, and it shows the quality and growth and yeah. the musicality that he has, where the lengths, where he can go, where he can take it. And if you don't know, uh, it's called The Da Vinci Code. Go check it out. It's available on all platforms. Even the 
Natasia. Na Natasia. Hers is also available. I forgot to mention that too. Yes. And then Tutai. Tutai is dope. We thought she was like <laughs> twelve. We thought she was twelve. She's like I don't want to take away from her. She's a grown woman. No, but she's she a does look very woman. young. Yeah. <laughs> and so we had her perform at our kids' event that we had out here in Compton. And she spits fire. Like she's very, very talented. We've had her on our Freestyle Fridays too. Mm -hmm. And she's doing the damn thing. She's been out here at a few other events we've seen her at, mm -hmm. um, even after she worked with us. So she's yeah. doing the damn What is thing. it? Uh Kick it like a hundred K. Yeah. So I'm like Keep it like a hundred K. You fall when he's straight. Uh -huh. I can see the two face. I can tell the two Yes, no, she's really dope. Available on all platforms. Go check her out too. She's dope. Two tie. And then our all time favorite, Rue. Rue Pratt. Like we met her. Oh, no, when we had our event in March, they reached out to yeah, us, like, but it was too late for them to try to get on the bill to perform. Mm -hmm. So then we ended up booking her for our day party that we had. In July. And she killed it. And we, that's just been our dog ever since. Yeah. One thing I will say, her stage presence mm -hmm. is very good. Like, she has a very she good stage presence. She dropped an album. Mm hmm And she also, well, she first, we first found out her when they emailed us and then her song... She performed her song Chocolate, which is amazing, and then she dropped her album. Album Fire, Fire, Fire on, on a wave. wave. Fire on a Wave. Yeah, my right. favorite song off that is She Bad. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> You're like reminiscing. Yeah. Yeah. No, but she's very talented. She has a very, very pretty voice. Definitely. But yeah. And then. Oh, yeah. that was it. Good. So those are our recap of our what? How many was that? Three, four, five people five. that has really sparked the in the middle interest. So we see y'all. We're proud of y'all. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep grinding. That's what we're here for. To help y'all, help us, vice versa. We want to see the whole team winning. Period. Period. Everybody got to eat. And you know, bitch got to eat. Okay. <laughs> So moving on to our next topic, we're going to talk about best album. I, I want to say, I don't want to say of the year or just best album in general. What do you think? Of the year is easiest. Yeah. Of all time it's... So for me, it was one. My first one is Drake. There's only we only picked about three, four, five. Or like how these are all artists that he listens to that we, that we went over. These are my like, notes that. I yeah, sent to her. Yes, okay. So now she just has to add in her notes. Sorry. So, but yeah. Definitely. So Drake, Scorpion, Bomb, uh, Blue Tint, After Dark, That's How You Feel, and of course, In My Feelings, Upset. Like he just had I banger like after banger, like top of the charts. But you've been doing that since he came out. I mean, like since he came out the womb, like yeah. dropping hits. Yeah. For so that. Drake, shout out to you because you did your damn thing this year. He also uh, dropped a whole baby on us. Just gonna throw that out there too. Congrats, <laughs> congrats on that. You also dropped an album and a baby. How do you, Beyonce? You must have talked to her <laughs> about just dropping babies. Just dropping babies just and dropping, dropping babies. albums. Period. Speaking of Beyonce, the Carters, everything is love. That album, it was only nine songs. It was a really good album, and nine. I don't like Beyonce. I don't like her like that. Like, the way he's a fan of her, I'm not as big of a fan. I'm not a beehive beat. Fan I'm not either. Fan. But the workmanship, the workmanship she puts in, the creativity her and her team puts in. It's, her ambition. She's yeah. All like, I aspire world. to, like, have showcases on that level and produce that mm -hmm. great of a concert, that great of a show that people are really like, oh, I rock with them. I rock with him. They did an amazing job. That's all I ask for in life. That's what we As a about. creator. And that album creatively, uh, from Lemonade to the 444 album to this, I can ask for better. And the visuals for this one were really nice too. Yeah. Like, I really like the visuals for I it. need her to drop more videos from that album because. She's yeah. only, there's only two? Only there's two? only one. Ape shit. That's it? That's the only video they dropped. Maybe they keep saying it in like different clips. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they've but been performing all over the world. So. Yeah. That's, oh, yeah, they do need some more visuals. Because that was a really good album mm -hmm. because we listened to it nonstop in our vlogs if you didn't catch yeah. that. <laughs> what else the next say? one is Lil Wayne's album. Carter 5? Is it 5? 6? I don't v, know. I think it's 5. 
Carter Five. That the more honestly, it's growing on me. The more I listen to it, the more I'm like, okay. Yeah, because I was like, we had a conversation about this. And yeah. Like not feeling it. After yeah, me. not at all. Yeah. But of course, uh, Mona Lisa's my favorite. Uproar. <laughs> what the fuck though? Damn. Where the love go? Uh, that song he has with Shanti. We gonna start this off right. We got some bad ass. In the house tonight, we gonna start this off right. Hey, we got some bad at in the house tonight. We get bad at yeah. Anyways, that song is dope. Uh, dang, what's the other song I was listening to earlier today? I don't, uh, know, I don't know. It's called Can't Something, but it's a dope song too. So that album is growing on me. I'm proud of him. You know, after being gone from those many years and coming back, he did. A he pretty was good gone day. for some years, but I guess. Songs. But I guess when you got you make money in your sleep, it's not necessary for you to yeah. make an album because like Drake, make, Nicki, whatever, whoever else is under his label, he's yeah. good. Getting money from Birdman because you know he owes you money. <laughs> Birdman's a mess. And then the next one you said Nicki Queen. Minaj, Queen. Even with the controversy of her talk show and her uh, like tweeting back and forth and her rants, and we said that we would never talk about her ever again on this show. Or, but, um, I am very proud of her and the work that she put in, and the the more I listen to it, I'm like, okay, it's it was a pretty good. I wouldn't call mm -hmm. it queen, but it was a good. Ready for more. I need some more stuff. I think I was slightly disappointed by the album. Well, not fully. I just felt like there could have been more to it. Um, of course, what's that song you keep having me listen to? Good form. I almost said hard form. I don't know why I said that. Good form. Because she has a song called Hard White. Oh, okay. That's why I was thinking that. Uh, good form. And there's a few. Whatever songs are on the radio, those are the ones I'm like, okay. But the other ones, I'm like, I want it more from you, Nikki. But... I think she's talented in general, so she can do. She can't do too wrong, other than her mouth getting her in trouble outside of her music. Period. But, yeah. Speaking of period, <laughs> the city girls from the three hundred five. Ghetto booty, pretty they face, thick thighs. thighs period. period. <laughs> yeah. The top twenty winners will get flued out. All expenses is paid for flights, travel. Period. 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 Um, period. They did that. Coming from Period, which could have been an album by itself, hands down. I really thought it was until I really until I found out. And that was a whole EP. Yeah. To coming with Girl Code. And that being you get the side you get to see a different side of them. Like it was ratchet in the beginning. Like Period was real ratchet. But then you get Girl Code and that becomes like you get the kind I think of Girl Code is, I think that's their gimmick is being ratchet. Yeah. But you I think they explain a lot more, like, why they're so ratchet. Uh -huh. Like, um, they break down things a little bit better. Because yeah. it's just, like, period is, like, ratchet. But, what's it? Girl code? Is that the uh -huh. one? Girl code, like, it explains where they're ratchet, explains where they're coming from, why they hustle so hard, all that stuff. Free JT, all that fun stuff. Period. So, <laughs> so I did. Actually, that's my album, sadly. Oh. I keep. I like, feel I like I catch on, myself saying I stuff. I put her on, really. and she just took off with it. Like, yeah. have the stuff sometimes. <laughs> Like, I listen to it, but you know how you listen to something, but you don't know the words to it. And I'd be like, oh, oh, bro, you know the word words. Yeah, I like know every word. Which is yeah. And, I, and I'm getting there because I'm like, I can't have. No, we gotta be, we in this together. We, we, yes. we a team, we gotta be at, on point. <laughs> Period. Period. But yes, so that covers up the albums of the year and most upcoming artists of the year, who we enjoyed, who we liked. So now let's get into the nitty gritty, which, why you guys are all here. The nitty gritty. The tea is exceptionally good today. <laughs> We're gonna talk about Rihanna's new album. Hmm. Where is it, Ri? Hmm. Because she said 2019, but like I need it to drop on the first. I need it to drop on the 31st. Mm -hmm. New Year's Eve. But I, what I'm sick and tired of people doing is like not letting nobody know, and all of a sudden it's on iTunes. Like, no. Can you like do a release date? I need an exact date. Exactly. I like planning. I need to plan mm -hmm. for when you're gonna snatch. My I don't life. like surprises. Yeah, surprises, not for us. So it's funny. Somebody was in her comments, and I purposely went to the comments as soon as she posted something. It was like she was like, "Sis, we tired of the makeup. We want oh, the music." Yeah. She it's, was like, "I said 2019," <laughs> and I was like. You're right, you did. So does that mean December 
31st, 2019? Does that mean June? Does that mean January? Or December of 2019? April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, I need her to have an exact release date. Like, she wants to have a Fenty. Like, there's always an exact date I'm sick of Fenty. I've been saying Fenty everywhere. Fenty makeup, Fenty lingerie, Fenty clothing, Fenty fashion shows. Fenty, Fenty, Fenty. I get it. That's your name. We're proud of you, baby girl. Music. But you left us dry. I'm tired it's of... It's been, what, like three where, years? Where, 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 where? I'm tired. Been, that, was that three years ago? Damn near, yeah. Man. I'm tired of that. Do better. I don't even know what else. Uh, I don't even know. That's the only thing I can remember that's, like, recent. Wild Thoughts. I'm tired oh, of that. Oh, yeah, and that wasn't even fully recent. That was DJ Khaled's song. Exactly. So, do better. Come on. We want to see you win, man. Yeah. Well, you're already winning. Period. Always. Always. Oh, God. <laughs> but what? we definitely. Why would you say that the same thing? I know. <laughs> we definitely need new music from you. New music. Please. <laughs> I'm excited. And then, so from Rihanna, so we're going to go straight into the all amazing Aretha Franklin tribute. The queen. The real the, queen. The real queen. Aretha Franklin tribute. It was like, it was. they had a bunch of good people doing it. It was Jennifer. No, Hattie. no, no. This is another something else. Oh, what is it? Like, this is a whole new thing that they're going to do. It's not the mm-hmm. one with Jennifer Hudson and Fantasia and all that? Yeah. That's what I just said. Oh, no. Uh, you made it sound past tense. Oh, no, no. Oh. I said that they're doing. So, Jennifer Hudson, then it Fantasia. Do you remember her? SZA. They got <laughs> Yes. Isn't her voice going now? SZA. No, she got it fixed. Oh. It's a SZA, Jennifer Hudson, Alicia Keys, and Patti LaBelle. And Fantasia, they just added yeah, a thing. Fantasia I don't know why they is. put SZA and then decided to add Fantasia. Didn't, Fantasia be having issues. Didn't issues. Fantasia perform at her funeral? Was, oh, and what's her face performed at her funeral too? Jennifer Hudson, right? I feel like I really want them to have been, uh, Mary J. Blige there. I feel like, why wouldn't you have Mary J. Blige mm. there? Mary J. Blige? Mary J. Blige. <laughs> <laughs> what is that movie? I don't see you. Uh, Mary J. Blige. Oh. Did I say it right? I don't know. Say it again. Blige. 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 Major Blige. I don't know. Whatever your name is, Auntie, <laughs> call us. Call us. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. Honestly, Why? the lineup is cool. Just SZA, I don't know. Because Why? I feel like she hasn't been in the game enough to be even be respected to be out there with the queens of mm-hmm. the queens. And she has to do so good because her performance is la- this past summer. Mm. Even at the... TD concert they just had the a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, no. So. But just, we love her. We yeah, love no, you. we for sure love her, but I'm just like, whatever's going on her voice, just like make sure yeah. you're respecting the legend. Yeah. So maybe she'll get some training and somebody will get in on her team and be like, look, you have to kill this because people will come for you. Yeah. So. We will. I'm changing. So. You know what? That is true. Growth. Growth. Progress. What's what's the girl on Issa Rae? Uh, that Natasha. Grow. That's what we're working on. Yeah. Buddy. But yes. So Patty Labelle or not Patty Labelle, Aretha Franklin. Hopefully the tribute comes out great. I will be tuned in. Tuned in, listening, all that fun stuff. Absolutely. So y'all, I just want to know why can't y'all leave Chris Brown alone? Why can't he do good for him for his damn? Chris son? Brown is not doing anything, not harming a soul right now. Why do you have foreign monkeys in your house? With Why wouldn't you want a foreign monkey? I no, wouldn't want a foreign monkey. More, because he's like random animals and stuff. Yes. No. Look, y'all. I want a monkey. I want a cheetah. I want a koala bear. I want a panda. A koala bear. Yes, I love those. Are, that's my favorite animal. Is it really? Yeah. Aww. I love koala bears. That's funny. That explains so much. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it explains so. His favorite animal is a koala. Guys, we're friends, and I really didn't know that. That's funny. Yes. Um, no, but monkeys, like, you have a five-year-old, they're violent. It's illegal to have, like, certain types of animals anyways. Like, you have to have a permit. Yeah, you have to have a permit. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm saying if you're going to do it and you know your celebrity, have the permits, have everything you need in order. So, because everyone keeps coming from him. Who snitched on him? He posted a picture. You know that you know that they're already looking for something for yeah. for him to do wrong anyways, and he just got off of probation. He was throwing he, chairs through windows. He was. Oh, he did. Yeah. I missed that story. No, it was years back, and oh. then the apartment he was staying before he moved in the house he's staying oh, in now. Yeah. He like vandalized it, so it's like they're already 
wanting yeah. something from he had you. an issue with somebody coming to his apartment mm-hmm. his house that he had now yeah exactly so it's like so, it's, yeah he's supposed to do six months and i hope he doesn't have to do that because like who who wants to he's gonna be living in luxury though he's he gonna be in jail like martha stewart was <sighs> like really you know martha stewart was in the laps of luxury Ooh, she probably had caviar every night who like, wants to spend half a year in jail not me I'm like from me. january to summertime like I mean, that's a cool time to get out, but... No. My guy. I'm too cute for jail. And Chris Brown for sure too cute for jail, so no. Yeah, no. Not. Not going. Not doing that at all. No, not doing that. Yeah, but hopefully you get to figure out, because I'm sure it's an option for, like, probation or something. Yeah, like, hopefully he just There go. has to be mm-hmm. some type of incentive. Can he just pay his way out? Yeah. Like, make Six little monthly payments? <laughs> Little, be like, can I put this on layaway? This is not Walmart. I'm gonna put this. The I'm government gonna, wants all I'm the cash. I'm gonna put this jail time on layaway. That's what we yeah, gonna do. Like, I'm gonna do like monopolize it, like mm-hmm. you know, skip yeah. go. He can't have a jail free card, like monopoly. Yeah, I'm the same because he's done worse. So I'm just Whole like this. Lot re- worse. This really isn't that big of a deal. Bro. A monkey, bro. Send, take it back. Yeah, send it, send back. it back. Send it back. I'll let's do that. I mean, technically, he you bought it. It's right. your monkey. You can go visit it. Yeah. If he ain't acting right. Send it back. You have a whole month. You have a whole month. Oh, uh. <laughs> you have so much money. You can build it a house, and they can just live there. And then you can just be like, "Hey, buddy, I'm back." Nice if to he see builds you. this monkey a damn house. Hey, I'm just trying to give you options, bro. We do. That's all options. I'm trying to. That's all I'm trying to give. You. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully he gets that figured out because we tired of it, Chris. Yeah. Honestly. Do a new album. That's what you need to do. No. What? He has a whole two albums. He can. He good. That he one does? album was. Too. Good. Oh, the one with twenty seven no, songs or something. I don't need no more music from you. Oh yeah, you, and he featured on everything. Like, yeah. I swear, everything I hear, he's featured on. Him, Ty Dolla, DJ Mustard on something, and who else is always on stuff? Nikki. DJ Khaled. 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 How do you say? Khaled. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So moving on. Trey Songs and Lori Harvey. Laura? Lori. Lori, Lori Harvey. Yes. She's so beautiful, y'all. Yeah, she really is. But how do you feel about them? I think they're cute. I, I like have, it. Yeah, I wouldn't have anything to dispute over it. Yeah. They seem cute. But um, did you see that little hood rat that was... Yeah. She was talking like, about Trey Songs flew me out. He Girl. flies everybody out. No, no, but... Hell, since, Drake just had five... Oh, I was about to call them B words. Drake just had five women out in like the Where Dominican we? Republic just chilling with him. Just cause. Just cause he one flew you out. One for each night, you know. A plane ticket ain't nothing for them. That's a tax write off. So. No, but my issue was all her receipts were from Snapchat. You know how you can change the contacts on Snapchat. Right. So it's like it said Trey songs, but I'm just like Snapchat's via your phone contacts, so you can easily go change somebody's contacts and see right. Trey songs. And. I don't think Trey Songs would be under Trey Songs. Exactly. Everybody like, has a unique like Snapchat name, like Exactly. So confused. What's the truth? What's the truth? And also, I mean, she just seemed like she wanted her fifteen minutes of fame. She so got it was it. like she definitely did get it, but I'm just like, why ruin somebody's relationship? If you and him were not together together, if he was flying you out to have sex with you, why are you ruining a whole relationship? Yeah, I just feel like that's just unnecessary. Just you know out your to have sex. Let it be that. You got the D. We moved on. Got the dig. I flown now. I'm probably sure he showed a meal, the city. you know. Yeah. But you're not sitting up there in his apartment or his house with your toes in his mouth. Yeah. So. Know your place. I think that's what I'm going to end 2018 with. Know your place and know your value, baby, because it don't seem like you got none out of that. But mm-hmm. but a post on a shade room. <laughs> and everybody, uh, <laughs> how many followers they got? Just people coming for you. Like, exactly. Like a point million fi- followers like yeah. coming for you it's not that deep sis <laughs> do better <laughs> do better baby oh uh, that's that's yeah. fine so Gabrielle Gabri- yes Gabrielle Union she dropped a whole baby this year she did acting like um who just dropped oh acting like Drake and Beyonce just dropping babies <laughs> <laughs> yes congratulations to her and her yeah. new baby and Dwayne Wade, Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne Wade, yeah. yes. Don't come for us, people. We love y'all, I promise y'all. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that situation with the, his was it his ex. baby mother? Yeah, his ex, uh, who's also the mother of his son, I believe. Mm-hmm. She came Dwayne from... Jr. Oh, is he a junior? I read the captions. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, his baby, his ex, 
girlfriend or whatever came for Gabrielle Union because she didn't birth her baby girl. It's still her baby. I don't. Why? Why would you come for somebody like that knowing good and well? Gabrielle Union had like over 10 miscarriages. Uh -huh. My mom read her book. Uh -huh. Like, that's like very detrimental to someone's life, health, and like very like straining on just a woman Mindset, mentally. Yeah, you like... know? So it's like, why would you come for her like that? Like, I mean, I don't know what their drama is outside of just this specific right, thing. Right, honestly, this is the first time I've ever heard of this lady. Yeah, exactly. I had never heard of her ever I didn't even know that she had another son. <laughs> Me either. Actually, I, he has two kids. Really? Mind you, two I knew, boys. Yeah, mind okay. you, I knew that, but I didn't even equate for yeah, them coming from. Yeah, because she's never been like yeah somebody else because they're always of, together. Yeah. yeah. See, exactly. you get it. See, but yeah, I think that that was completely wrong on her part. So, what she did not do that right at all. Like no. whatever the beef is, you could have kept that one just to yourself, or just not have put it on social media. Like send her a text and be like, "I think you weak, Gabby." I mean, Gabrielle, you're amazing. But if right. she was going to do that, she could have just texted you something. I don't think it was right yeah, for her to call you Yeah, could have had a phone out. call mm -hmm. or an email. Yeah, because she didn't just, like, disrespect Instagram her. DM, Instagram comment. Yeah, she, like, came for her whole, like, like, womanhood. I think that's very wrong. Yeah, just to come for her as a whole woman. A whole woman. With a whole baby and a whole man Even and a whole family. these hand gestures today. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, that way you thank you for joining me on this long crazy ride because you know it's been a ride but it's been a ride we 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 work it out always as business people let me tell you something as business people as creators you're constantly evolving constantly growing if mm -hmm. you don't have anybody to, around you to grow with you or anybody on your team that doesn't want to grow with you or understand your vision or try to uh compromise with your vision they're not made for you them. Yes. and us two we're constantly here we may, yes. but then we just be like, all right, yeah, that made sense, or it worked out. So whatever I say is, be strong, will be strong, be able to strong hold your own opinions and your own mm -hmm. uh, thoughts and ideas, but also be willing to open to other ideas, other thoughts, other concepts. For sure. So uh, what I say is, from January when we decided to sit down and do this to mm -hmm. now. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Yeah. It was really in January mm -hmm. and Simply Wholesome. Yep. We have to have a Simply Wholesome day. <laughs> That's funny. It has uh -huh. been amazing and I'm so happy and I'm so proud. And 2019 is going to be amazing. We have some new content coming for you in January. Like some January hit, baby. <laughs> like tomorrow. Yes. January's here. My head is in April right now. Yeah, my, my head is all the way in like June. April. I know what I'm doing in May. I'm going to be booked busy and yeah. blessed well that's what we always are amen but no i'm really proud of us i saw this quote the other day and it was like it represent us to me because it was like don't don't compromise don't compromise your home to keep company and i was like i love that like yeah. don't like what he just said like make sure that you have an open mind but at the end of the day don't try and dampen who you are or dampen your light because somebody else doesn't see it because somebody's gonna rock with it right don't be trying to break down your windows to get a bigger window when you don't have room to fit it so hello but yes yeah, so i'm really proud of us we ended the year off right you're not gonna you're not gonna oh i was, it was a, yeah it was like a in between <laughs> i got stuck all right, y'all. So that ends this episode of Let's Talk About It. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back next year with season two and much more content to come. It's your yeah. boy, Jay So. It's your girl, Sammy Social. And don't and... forget to like, comment, oh, share, subscribe. subscribe. Turn that notification <laughs> bell on and share this with a friend. Yes, and follow us on social media individually and in the middle, E&T. Yes. We out, y'all. Peace. Peace.